वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस मॉड्यूल इज कंसर्न विद ट्रोपोस्फेयर फोटो केमिस्ट्री द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रिएक्टिव रेडिकल्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स इट मस्ट बी पॉइंटेड आउट दैट इज फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ रेडिकल केमिस्ट्री द ट्रोपोस्फेयर इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट द केमिस्ट्री हियर इज डोमिनेटेड बाई इनऑर्गेनिक एंड ऑर्गेनिक रेडिकल्स आउट ऑफ दीज hydroxyl radical that is oh radical is most important and it destroys or removes most of the pollutants which are present in atmosphere its reactions allow the formation of several other organic radicals and other species we will learn about them atmospheric chemistry is driven primarily by photochemical reactions and these photochemical reactions are initiated by solar radiation sun is a source of constant and inexhaustible energy for initiating the reactions on the earth surface either east or west sun is always shining gas phase troposphere chemistry of pollutants like no no2 so2 volatile organic compounds and others involve a variety of transient or short lived species such as excited molecules these reactions are source of several secondary pollutants like ground level ozone etc it was to pointed out the fundamental nature of atmospheric oxidizing not reducing the main actors as reducing agent as oxidizing agents are o2 o3 hydroxyl radical hydroperoxy radical nitrate radical and the variety of organic ones which are very reactive although oxygen is 20% of air but its reactions are very slow therefore this gap is filled by reaction of these radicals with the pollutants how the radicals are formed we can discuss the chemistry by photo dissociation of no2 radiation of this wavelength they dissociate no2 to give you ground level oxygen atom o3p plus no this atom reacts with oxygen in presence of third body to produce ozone ozone oxidizes no to give you no2 and o2 so this is a cyclic reaction no2 was used up and no2 has been reproduced and ozone has been formed the ground state oxygen atom reacts rapidly with oxygen molecules this and to form ozone incidentally ozone is a pollutant in troposphere and ozone plays a big role in atmospheric chemistry of troposphere about 20% ozone in troposphere from is to stratosphere intrusion rest it is to natural and anthropogenic reactions in troposphere what does ozone do ozone oxidizes no into no2 and o2 this these reactions are responsible for giving photostationary concentration of these species Trop photostationary means steady state that under this photochemical reaction under a stationary state since it is done in presence of light we call it photostationary it means the concentrations will remain constant and the change in concentration will be zero for example d upon dt is formed look at the previous reaction o is formed here o3 is formed here o3 is destroyed here so o and o3 both are intermediates and they can be tra tra uh, photostationary state remember the concept of photostationary state or steady state is applicable only to intermediates not to reactants or products writing the differential forms of the formation of rate of d upon dt we can write on the basis of precipitation and similarly the rate of formation of ozone can be written as like this at a steady state or photostationary state d upon dt equal to 0 and do 3 upon dt is also equal to 0 therefore in place of h we can write here 0 here also 0 so you get this equation o3 is equal to this equal to 0 then k2 o o2 m equal to k3 and o3 therefore o3 equal to kp and o2 upon k3 n or jp upon k2 no2 upon no so this ratio ozone concentration depends upon no2 upon no ratio it means that higher the concentration of no2 more ozone will be formed in the atmosphere lower the concentration of no more ozone will be formed in the atmosphere if 
there are chemical reactions or species which can convert NO into NO2, then what will happen? This ratio will increase and more of ozone will be formed. The ozone precursors, the, the species which help in the formation of ozone are called ozone precursors. What are these precursors? These, these are carbon monoxide and volatile organic compounds. They generate peroxy radicals. They help change the ratio NO2 upon NO and therefore they are called ozone precursors. Let us see what happens. We, we all know that carbon monoxide is released in the atmosphere. Carbon monoxide is a pollutant. In the cities, if carbon monoxide continues to build up, then someday its concentration will be so high that city or any other place will not be worth living. Then what happens? B or the government do, does nothing to remove this pollutant from the atmosphere. But nature does the reaction. How? Hydroxyl radical, which is naturally formed, reacts with carbon monoxide, oxidizes it to form CO2. So this has been converted into CO2 and hydrogen atom has been formed. This hydrogen atom reacts with O2 in presence of a third body to form hydroperoxy radical. And this hydroxy peroxy radical oxidizes NO into NO2. So you can see how intervention of CO helps in the increase in the ratio NO2 upon NO. That is, NO is converted into NO2, its concentration increases and its concentration decreases. Now look here further. NO2 photo dissociates to give you O plus NO. And O plus O2 plus M forms O3. If we combine all these form, all these five reactions, but we find that CO plus twice O2 forms CO2 and O3. The carbon monoxide has been utilized in the formation of O3 and none else. Likewise, methane. Again, it is a pollutant. As you will study the green, greenhouse effect, this methane is removed by hydro reaction with hydroxide radical. It reacts with it, abstracts hydrogen atom from this, forms CH3 and water. CH3 reacts with O2 to form CH3 O2. And CH3 O2 reacts with NO for CH3O. Remember, this is methyl peroxide. This is oxidizing agent. It oxidizes NO into NO2. So this radical also helps it increasing the ratio NO2 upon NO. So this is again a ozone precursor. Now, once ozone has been formed, what happens? It also dissociates. And it needs a small energy, only 1.1 electron volt energy, corresponding to 11, 1100. 80 nanometer wavelength. The photo dissociation of ozone can take place in the entire UV visible region by solar radiation because of this low requirement of energy. The most important wavelength region are the Hartley band and continuum. This the photo dissociation of ozone generates a very important electronically excited atom O1D. This is known as singular oxygen, and this is actually ground excited state oxygen atom. Remember, O3 P was ground state oxygen atom. This is excited state oxygen atom. Both are oxygen atom. But one is ground state, and there is excited state. It has no unpaired electrons. Okay, all the electrons are paired in it. In O3 P, two electrons are unpaired. Production of OH and HO2 radical. How they are formed? This O1D. This most important reaction for the formation of OH radicals. Singular oxygen reacts with water to form. 2 OH radical. 1 D forms 2 OH radical. So, this reaction is the largest source of OH radicals in the lower troposphere. I will add that hydroxyl radical is known as the scavenger of the atmosphere or atmosphere's detergent because it destroys most of the pollutants by reaction with it because it is one of the strongest oxidant. HO2 can also produce by another radical that is HO2 can be formed by this reaction. This is aldehyde. Photo dissociation gives R radical, CH radical. CH radicals will react with O2 to form HO2 and CO. The OH concentration depends upon the solar UV flux, how much the solar radiation, intensity of solar radiation. And therefore, there is a variation from morning to evening maximum. OH concentration is during midday, around 3 p.m. So the diagram can be seen in the e-text, this diagram. How OH is removed from the atmosphere? 
remember in atmosphere anything which is formed that as a source that also as a sink that is the removal mechanism remember OH radical doesn't react with oxygen OH reaction OH radical does not react with nitrogen OH radical does not react with CO2 they are most important and the, the gases presented largest amount the reactions of OH with CO and other pollutants are very important CO, CH4, other BOCs, they react with OH radicals and remove it. And in other words, this radical removes this from the atmosphere which are pollutants. Now look here, how CO is removed by this reaction? We have already discussed this reaction earlier. How methane is removed? This way. Methane is destroyed here. Convert CH3, O2, CH3O2, the further reactions like this. CH3O2 plus HO2, you get CH3OH, methyl peroxide. Actually, it is homologous of hydrogen peroxide. In place of hydrogen, what, what has happened? CH3 has been CH3 has replaced hydrogen instead of hydrogen peroxide. It is methyl peroxide. CH3NO2 is oxidant. This this reacts with NO and oxidizes it to NO2. Reaction of methyl perox methyl peroxide. This radical CH3OH. This is again oxidant. It reacts with O2. O2 and forms CH2OH. Remember, CH2OH is a radical, OH radical. CH3OH also reacts with O2. This is another pathway. So there are two pathways, this and this. Photo dissociation of CH3OH also occurs and fills. this is alkyl. This is uh, OH. instead of OH radical, what has happened? In place of H, you have this CH3. So this is not hydroxy radical. This is methoxy radical. The methoxy radical reacts rapidly with O2 to generate formaldehyde. So this is one way of formation of methyl, this sorry, this uh, formaldehyde. Similarly, other, other aldehydes are also formed by this reaction. Reaction of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde reacts with OH radical. Remember, OH reacts by removal of a hydrogen atom. It abstracts a hydrogen atom, so, so you get CHO. H2O, CHO plus O2 forms CO and HO2 and SCHO in presence of is photolyzed and reaction with O2 gives you CHO and HO2. HCHO is the source of OH radicals in the troposphere by this photolysis reaction. Reactions of peroxy radical. HO, uh, HO2 and RO2, they are, this is inorganic peroxy radical and this is organic peroxy radical. They what they do? Most important reaction is the oxidation of NO into NO2 and increase the ratio NO2 upon NO. Since OX, OH, HO, HO or HO2 production is generally driven by sunlight, it is expected that OH would exist only in daylight. It is true, but only partly. Maximum concentration of hydroxyl radical is found during daytime, but during nighttime also, where there is no sun, a small concentration of OH is always present and there are other sources for this. Recycling between HO2 and O2. How HO2 converts to OH and OH converts into HO2. This, this well-known reaction, O3, O3 is formed. OH reacts with O3 to form HO2. So OH has been converted into HO2. Okay, HO2 reacts with O3 to form OH radical. HO2 has been converted into OH. Remember, recycling OH to HO2, HO2 to HO2 to HO. O3 photo dissociates give you over D and over D reacts with not shown here with water to form OH radical. Thermal reactions of ozone, no photochemical reaction. Ozone reacts otherwise also. No light is necessary. NO is oxidized by O3, you get NO2. And this reaction is very important. NO2 is oxidized by ozone to form NO3. NO3 reacts with NO2 to form NO25. This reaction is very important at night time. Actually, during daytime, the oxidant for polytrate is OH radical. During night time, the oxidant for polytrate is nitrate. This is nitrate radical. Remember, nitrate radical, which, which you refer to inorganic analysis, is actually NO3 negative. That should not be called a radical. Radical means it has unpaired electron. That is wrong nomenclature since old, old time. This is radical because it has the output electron. So, and difference must be understood. 
This is nitrate radical unpaired electron, NO3 negative. This is nitrate anine and has no unpaired electron. O3 reacts with alkenes. This is well known reaction in organic chemistry. It forms ozonite and it decomposes to give this. If we have water, then you get the al this uh, alkenal or ketone depending upon the structure of alkene. Reactions of OH radical. Hydroxyl radical is one of the strongest oxidant. It is often referred to as detergent or a scavenger of the troposphere. Lifetime of polytene determined by, by the value of its rest constant with OH radical. How long CO will survive or SO2 will survive in the atmosphere depend upon the rate constant of OH plus SO2 reaction or OH plus CO reaction or OH plus any other reaction. In general, OH reaction with the abstracted hydrogen atom, as I already told you, R reacts with O2 to form RO2. Now, OH reacts with aldehyde again by abstraction of hydrogen atom, you get CH3CO. This hydrogen has been removed, CH3CO, S2 is formed. CH3CO reacts with O2 to form CH3COO2. CH3CO is acetyl radical and CH3COO2 is acetyl peroxy radical. Formation of hydrogen is very important. Hydrogen peroxide is an atmospheric oxidant. It oxidizes sulfur dioxide. Some other compounds also. It is involved in Fenton's reagent. This is how it is for this bimolecular reaction, HO2 plus HO2 get H2O2. Or HO2 reacts with H2O to form HO2 dot H2O and plus HO2 you get H2O2 basically the same reaction. The difference see, here is what is involved, here is what is not involved. It is highly soluble, its heavy constant is 7 to the power 4, mole inverse at once at 25 degrees Celsius. The nitrous acid, another inorganic compound, a weak acid, but it has important atmospheric chemistry. How it is formed? In the gas phase, nitrous acid is formed by the reaction of NOx, NO and NO2 in humid surfaces, that is bad surfaces, the surface which have water film on it, this NO plus NO2 has to get twice HNO2. This is how it has been formed in aquaspheres. This reaction can take place in red water also, fog water also, cloud water also. Twice NO2 H2, this reaction gives you HNO2 plus HNO3. This is self-reaction. self redox self reaction. One part is oxidized, another part is reduced. NO reacts with OH to form HNO2, so they are methods of forming HNO2. HNO2 on photolysis gives OH, so nitrous acid is the source of OH radicals also. What are the damaging effects of OH? Ozone is, remember, remember ozone is, comes very important in tropospheric chemistry as in stratospheric chemistry. Ozone, but here in tropospheric chemistry is a pollutant. It is a colorless, pungent, very reactive, powerful oxidant, a dangerous pollutant in troposphere. Ozone is very toxic to plants and affects sensitive vegetation and ecosystems. It has harmful effect on sensitive vegetation, including trees and plants during the growing season. It damages fabrics and rubber goods. EPA has, Environmental Production Agency of USA, has listed the following harmful health effects of ozone. It may make it difficult to breathe deeply and vigorously. It may cause shortness of breath and pain when taking a deep breath. It may cause coughing and sore throat and inflame and damage airways. It may aerate asthma, chronic bronchitis, and increase frequency of asthma attacks and make lungs more susceptible to infection. In this module on tropospheric photochemistry, you had an opportunity to learn about the reactive radicals, particularly OH radical, HO2 radical, NO3 radical, RO radicals, RO2 radical. You were, you were informed about how they are formed, what are their reactions, how HO and HO2 radical interconvert into each other, what are their reactions, how ozone is formed, one of the most important pollutants, and what are their damaging effects. Thank you.